Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Saray from I Am Saray Bailey, and in this video, we are going to be organizing some of my files. This is a project that I've had on my to-do list for years, and I've just never gotten around to it because I just felt like the task was so daunting. But little by little, I've been able to do a few different things to set me up so that I can get it all set up how I want it so it can be something that's functional, manageable, and still look pretty. So let me walk you through on my process for updating my personal files and how I keep them. So this is my current system. It has been working very well for me for the past few years. But I do find that there are other ways that I can even streamline it a little bit more. So that's what I'm going to be doing. As you can see, um, some of the categories are not in any particular order. They're sort of kind of mixed in together. But I, I am able to find what I need relatively quickly. However, I do want to pretty it up a little bit more uh, and use some of the new tools that I've gotten in order to get my files organized and more manageable. To help me with this, actually, um, maybe about a year or so ago, I ordered these two accordion files from Erin Condren. These are the Mid-Century Circles Accordion File Organizer Box, which, as you can see, it opens through here and has a ton of um, file folders. However, you can also order separate file folders like I have here, which I have. I order a bunch and they have different um, different colors. They are more of a muted, more on the focus collection type of colors. Um, I do have a label here that I've already sort of messed around with as I was preparing for this project, but I will show you what I am using for labels. So I created a few custom labels for my filing, and I made ones also for the outside of the file system. So the reason why I have two is because I'm going to be using one for my current files and the other one will be more for archive um, filings. So for example, things that I don't use every day, like tax files, etc. And then the other ones, obviously the ones that are going to go inside, I will place these labels on the file folders. One of the things that you'll notice about these categories is that I kept them pretty generic on purpose because if I change medical insurance, for example, I don't want to have to change the name of the insurance company, like the name of the label altogether. So I sort of just kept them very generic, like cell phone instead of the actual company name. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to label each of the boxes either archived or current. So this one will be my current box and then the other one will be the archive. Okay, so now I have both of my boxes, my current and my archived, and they're actually labeled on both ends. That way when I store it, it doesn't matter what end I'm storing it, I can still see the, the label because it's gonna go on a shelf, like a bookshelf. So when I stick it underneath, I can see the label clearly. So each folder set comes with a total of six, and these are letter size. Um, envelopes or folders rather so you have um, two sets of each color so two sets of gray two sets of blue and then two sets of this peachy orange color
in each of their respective folders. So this is all of my current files and then all of the archives. Um, the next part of this project will be two things. One, to go through each uh, file and shred anything that I no longer need because I haven't done that in a while. I sort of just transfer them over here. So I'll go ahead and do that. And then the next thing will be to uh, organize them alphabetically. So right now they're not in any particular order. I just sort of grab them and place them here. But the next step will be to organize them alphabetically. Before I do that, I'm going to give myself just a couple of weeks just to make sure that I have all of the files for everything that I need. And then once I have it pretty much finalized, then I'll go ahead and order them alphabetically. That way I don't have to do it uh, more, than, more than once. So yeah, that's it. Pretty excited with how it turned out. I really love these um, organizers, these accordion organizers. They're very, very sturdy and they pack a lot. And I decided to split them in half as well, just because of the weight. I don't want them to uh, weigh it down too, too much, but I really love um, the quality and just the overall functionalities of these. So I'm super excited. I finally got these, this project done and I feel so much more organized. You know, if you have any questions or comments with what I walked through here, I hope that you enjoyed the video or gave you some idea or, inspiration to get more organized with your paperwork thanks again for watching my video and as always i'll see you next time